What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Big Endian and Little Endian. So, um, what exactly is Big Endian and Little Endian? So, basically, um, Big Endian and Little Endian are like different types of machines that, uh, that have, like, depending on the type of machine, they store bits differently, okay? So, to determine what a Big Endian is, basically Big Endian is like the regular bits are stored first, like how you see normally. Um, in a number, um, little endian is when the far, the rightmost bits are actually stored first, and then it's the f far left bits. So big endian is the leftmost bits are stored first, and little endian is rightmost bits. And this matters if you're doing like stuff like networking, where you're actually uh, if you code stuff like for networking, where sometimes the bits and the bytes, uh, that that the order where they get sent between different packets matter, and they affect how the way the machines are working right so the way that you get them so yeah big endian and little endian depends on this type of processor and the machine that the computer has so um basically i'll just show you guys an example let's say i have uh the number one two three four five six seven right so basically if you're going to store this in big endian so this is going to be big endian uh so the bytes in memory are kind of like blocks of memory like this right so um if you're going to store every two bytes here it would be like zero one first, right? Because of the the one, right here. Then we're gonna do two two three, right? So so zero one, two three. Then we're gonna do four five, and then six seven. Okay. And then the this the rest is just uh, nothing there. So I'm I'm actually gonna erase the rest, right here. So yeah, th this would be what big endian is, okay? And then the, the little endian is that the rightmost bits are actually stored first. So in little endian, it would be look like this. So this is little endian. Okay, so here, here's little endian. So instead of zero one stored first, it's gonna be six, seven, then it's gonna be four, five, then it's gonna be two, three, and it's gonna be zero one, okay? So that's basically the difference between both of these. It's not much to it exactly. And then, yeah, and then um, now we're actually just going to show you guys how to check if it's big Indian or little Indian. All right, guys, so to tell if something is big Indian or little Indian, as you can see here, um, big Indian always starts with a zero in the first place right here, right? Because um, we're going through every two bytes and uh, there's always gonna be a zero appended in the front because it does the, the uh, leftmost bits first right leftmost bits and bytes first and it puts that in the memory first so that the, for big endian it's always going to have a zero in the first place right for a little endian it's always going to be a number in this first place right because you're you're always going to put the rightmost bits first and then a little endian there's always going to be a number here so basically in order to check if if it is a big endian or a little endian you're just going to all you have to do is put your number into like a small unsigned char right and then dereference it so then I'll give you the first number, right? And then if, if it's zero, you know it's big Indian. If it's if it's not zero, you know it's little Indian. Okay, and then I'll just show you guys the code because that's that's ba ba pretty much it. All right, guys, so here's the code to basically do this for you. So we create a regular number integer and we, we call it I and we set equal to one. So this this is just going to tell us if it's like, it could be any number actually, you could just, it could be any number you have, I just set it to one, I just set it the first value i equal to one because one is like the most basic number you could possibly have. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it into a character. So this is gonna like forcibly put it into a character. And if you put it into a character, what it does is that it'll just get the first bit, right? Cause then all the other characters, uh, uh, basically a character is only uh, has one bit, right? One, one, one bit. Right, so if you put it into a character, it's pro it's going to get rid of all the other values on the right. So that's what it does, right, in this character pointer, right. So we set equal to basically convert it into a character, and then we dereference it. We we basically get the uh, reference pointer. So we create a character pointer and we point it to this number, which is one, right. And then we just dereference it. We say okay, so this dereferencing means that what we're pointing to. So here. But basically what this is doing is that this is going to create a pointer. This is going to be our pointer, right? It's going to point it to this, 
this number, and then it's going to dereference it, so it's going to get the data that it's pointing to at, which is going to be the first value. In this case, it will be one, right? And then, um, yeah, once it gets its one, if it's not equal to zero, so what this is if statement is doing is checking if it's not equal to zero. So this is, this is the same thing as doing this, right? Uh, dereference it, if it's not equal to zero, then we know it's little endian, right? Because that means that the first value is not zero, right? Little endian, that's what the little endian is, right? Uh, if it's big endian, then that means the first value is zero. And yeah, it's not equal, then we just print out big endian. So if I run this right now, it's basically just going to give me little endian, yeah. So my computer is little endian. Okay, so that's basically how you do the, how to check big endian or little endian. Create a character point and point to it, then dereference it. And then uh, if, if it's pretty much, if the first value of the bit is not equal to zero, you know it's little endian, otherwise it's big endian, right? Based on what we said here. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll check you guys later. Peace.